We're ready to play in 2020, so now it's time to make some predictions. But we've already made predictions for the 2020 season, so what we're going to do is we're going to make some bold predictions. And by definition, those are courageous, confident, and fearless picks. We're ready to take some risk. We're going to go with the guys or the teams that are flying under the radar. They have all of the necessary skills and talent around them to win AL MVP over Mike Trout, to win the World Series over the New York Yankees. So that's what we're going to do today. Let me know your opinions in the comment section down below. Without further ado, let's start talking baseball. We're going to go ahead and start off with the National League MVP. And if you're a normal person, if you're a sane person, you would probably go with Mookie Betts or his teammate Cody Bellinger, Christian Yelich, or maybe even Ronald Acuna Jr. But there's one guy, my bold prediction, that is flying under the radar, Juan Soto. Do you remember back in 2015 when Bryce Harper won the National League MVP for the Nationals at 22 years old? I think we're about to see some deja vu because Juan Soto is going to have to rake and he has all of these skills to do so and even the fact that Anthony Rendon left that's a big time benefit to Juan Soto because if he produces and if the Nationals make the playoffs or even the World Series yet again even after Joe Ross and Ryan Zimmerman have chosen to sit out that is going to be squarely on the back of Juan Soto because I can predict that he's going to have anywhere from 15 to 20 home runs he's going to have a 950 plus OPS he's actually getting better on defense as well they've added a few pieces that can kind of replace about 80% of what Anthony Rendon did in the players of Starlin Castro and Eric Thames those are tall tasks, but I think Juan Soto, he's up for it. Now remember guys, before we talk about the American League MVP, my bold prediction, I do have to emphasize that these are exactly that, bold predictions. You could also call them a hot take because we all know that Mike Trout is most likely going to win MVP for the fourth time considering he has a healthy Shohei Otani and a brand new superstar, a duo in Anthony Rendon. But my bold prediction American League MVP winner is going to be Aaron judge there was a video that was going around a couple days ago of him swinging on a field and his rib looks healthy that is the only caveat to this prediction is the fact that he is somewhat injury prone and he might not be able to play 60 games but in my opinion the 60 game schedule is going to aid him because he can do so much damage in those two months that I think he is going to absolutely erupt and with the help of some of his teammates like Gary Sanchez and maybe even a healthy John Carlos Stanton and Aaron Hicks when he gets back because the update is he's not going to be ready for opening day, but he will be ready to return to action pretty soon. So with the defense and the power capabilities of Aaron Judge combined with that rotation and how good the Yankees are, he's going to be extremely valuable to that team. And it's going to be him, Mike Trout, Anthony Rendon, all neck and neck for the American League MVP. And also... Watch out for Josh Donaldson. See what he can do for the Twins. Do I dare say that someone is going to dethrone Jacob deGrom in 2020? He's on pace to be your back to back to back Cy Young Award winner, but I think that one man at 25 years old because of the players and the team around him has a chance to do so, and that is Walker Bueller. If we take a look at his 2019 stats, his ERA actually did regress from 2.62 to a 3.26, which is still incredible, but he led the National League in complete games. He also improved his strikeouts per nine and his walks per nine. Also, his fielding independent got better as well, so the ERA is not always the full telltale story of what's going on with a player but I think that Walker Buehler with the teammates and the and the counterparts that he has around him has an excellent chance to win Cy Young Award is it going to happen I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below do you think that Scherzer is going to take it do you think that DeGrom is going to be your three-time consecutive Cy Young Award winner or do you think that Walker Buehler is the new sheriff in town let me know also I know that Chris Paddock is called the sheriff but yeah, we're not talking about him. Here we go, guys. My bold prediction, my hottest take of this entire video, the 2020 American League Cy Young Award winner will go to Mike Clevenger of the Cleveland Indians. And the reason why I say that is because from 2018 to 2019, he got so much better in almost every single category. He went from a 3.02 ERA to a 2.71, a 9.3 strikeouts per nine to a 12.1. He also lowered his walks. He didn't give up as many home 
home runs. I think that Mike Clevenger in 60 games is going to really do some special things, especially considering that the Cleveland Indians believe so much in him. They were able to trade Corey Kluber, which still pains me to say. And also, is Corey Kluber going to be healthy? Could he be a dark horse to win the American League Cy Young? That would be awesome to see Clevenger or Bieber go up against Corey Kluber and Garrett Cole. But that is my bold prediction. Mike Clevenger at 29 years old. He is entering his peak. He strikes out a ton of guys. He really limits the damage when runners get on. I like my pick. I'm not being biased. Mike Clevenger has a really good chance of winning the 2020 American League Cy Young Award. What do you guys think about that? Now remember everyone, this is the last time that I'm going to mention it in today's video. These are hot takes. Bold predictions. Is Garrett Cole going to win the American League Cy Young or Justin Verlander? Probably. But Mike Clevenger is flying under the radar and that's today's video. So I'm just trying to make sure you guys understand that. That I don't think that Clevenger is the front runner, but he's a dark horse for sure. I know that Luis Robert and Joe Adele are supposed to be the next Mike Trout. But I have a guy in mind for American League Rookie of the Year that is flying so far under the radar that it's kind of disrespectful. Now, I think everyone knows how good Jesus Lazardo is, but just in case you don't, let me go ahead and read off his stats. At 21 years old, again, he was making his debut. He had a 1.5 ERA in six games. Now, again, he is not a starter, but he had a 12 strikeouts per nine, and the best part about Jesus Lazardo is at that young of an age, in the postseason against the Tampa Bay Rays, he had three in pitched and struck out four hitters. He was dominant. I can't wait to see what this guy can do once he's actually in a starting role. I mean, we might be looking at the next Chris Sale or even someone like Randy Johnson. Those are his comparisons, and honestly, I see it. He throws gas. He has one of the highest ceilings that I've seen from a young player in quite some time. And also, he's super down to earth and works extremely hard. I can tell you that because just this year, I interviewed him when he came to Las Vegas for a random tournament against the Indians. I believe in Jesus Lazardo, and he is my bold prediction to win the AL Rookie of the Year. So the reason why this video is even a thing is because I put out a tweet with my bold prediction saying that Hunter Renfro was going to lead the league in home runs and the fact that Jorge Mateo was going to win National League Rookie of the Year. And a bunch of Dodgers fans, they said, did Gavin Lux retire? Did Gavin Lux retire? Again, these are hot takes. So do I think Gavin Lux is going to be the front runner to win 2020 Rookie of the Year in the National League? Probably. But in my opinion, Dylan Carlson of the St. Louis Cardinals is a switch hitting monster who can also play really good defense out there in left field. He has a plus arm with pretty good speed as well. I don't really know any major league comparisons to show you guys in terms of how good Carlson can be. Maybe Cattell Marte because they're both switch hitters. They can both steal you anywhere from 15 to 20 bags and hit 20 plus home runs. That's how good Carlson can be. Again, we have to wait and see if Cattell Marte can back up what he did in 2019 that breakout season. But if the Cardinals can get anywhere near the ceiling that Carlson is projected to be at, it's going to be a special season, especially considering they lost out on Marcelo Zuna and traded away their best DH in Jose Martinez. So again, if Carlson comes up and he performs, he's going to make the general management and the fan base of the Cardinals they're going to feel a whole lot better. So we've talked about the MVPs. We've talked about the Cy Youngs. We've talked about the Rookies of the Year. Now it is time to talk about who will win the 2020 World Series. But I guess before we do that, where we pick a winner, let's talk about the teams that are going to make it out of their respective leagues. And the National League, I'm going to go with the Cincinnati Reds. Yes, the Cincinnati Reds, the same team that was barely 500 back in 2019, just a year ago. Actually, let me check that. Were they even 500? No, they were not, in fact. They were 75 and 87, so about eight games under 500. But my biggest factor into why they're going to improve so much in the following season is because they've added so much depth both in the rotation and the lineup. They added a new DH. They got lucky because the universal DH is going to be a thing this year. Nicholas Castellanos, a horrible right fielder, left fielder, wherever you put him, he is going to be one of the worst defenders in baseball. He now gets to do one thing and one thing only, mash baseballs. They also signed Mike Moustakis. So when you add Mike Moustakis, you add Nicholas Castellanos, you also add Japanese outfielder Shogo Akiyama. 
Kuma, I think I said his name right. He was pretty much a 25 home run, 15 stolen base threat in Japan. I know the competition isn't as severe over there. He's going to be decent at the very least, in my opinion. And just with that rotation with Sonny Gray, Luis Castillo, Trevor Bauer is on the squad as well. And back in 2018, he had a sub 2.4 ERA. So if he can even be a 2.9, maybe even a 3 ERA, the Reds are going to be absolutely lethal from a pitching perspective, from an offensive perspective. Their bullpen is iffy at times. But even if you look at their other players that we haven't talked about, Joey Votto, Eugenio Suarez, Aristides Aquino, Nick Senzel showed some promise in his rookie season. They also have Freddy Galvez who can rake as a shortstop. I really like the Reds' chances. Again, do I think they are going to be the definitive favorite to win the World Series or at least win the NL pennant? No. No, I'm going with the Dodgers, but this is fun. Honestly, I haven't had this much fun making a video in quite some time, so hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well. But who are the Reds going to face in my hot take prediction for 2020? The Minnesota Twins. You just can't deny me that opportunity to see the Reds offense versus the Minnesota Twins offense. That would be a wild, wild series. The Twins did pick up Kenta Maeda in the offseason, which is actually a pretty solid addition to the rotation. They do already have Jose Barrios and Jake Odorizzi. So the Twins, they could be very underrated in the rotation department, but that's not why we like the Twins. That's not why some of us might think they're going to make the World Series. The fact that they added Josh Donaldson and got a surprise breakout season from Mitch Garver when you have a number eight hitter in Miguel Sano who can hit 20 home runs in a 60 game season and Nelson Cruz who I forgot had 16 home runs in 23 games dating back to 2019 so they have just just so much firepower and they can score seven runs in a single inning if they wanted to that's how good and special the twins can be with Josh Donaldson Nelson Cruz Max Kepler Eddie Rosario Miguel Sano Mitch Garver if I'm forgetting anyone, Byron Buxton has a chance to still break out at some point in his career. Luis Arias, Jorge Polanco, I mean, there's no weak spot on this team. It is absolutely ridiculous, and we haven't even talked about Marwin Gonzalez, who regressed in 2019, but maybe he bounces back. I'm just, my jaw drops when I look at this, this Twins roster and their offense, but that's it. That's today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below of all of my hot takes and my bold predictions. We ended it with the Reds versus the Twins in the 2020 World Series. I'm going with the Twins as your champions. Now again, probably not going to happen, but hey, I wanted to give some props to some teams that no one is really talking about this year. So I had some fun. Hope you guys did as well. Remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe because we're on the road to 200,000 subs and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. And if Francisco Lenore wins MVP, that would make me very happy too.